Hey guys, on today's video we're going to be shopping right here on the source. So in order to shop for anything on the source, first of all we can just find anything we're looking for up here. So we can type in, for example, Nintendo. Then we can just go into search or if we find it in the related products right away, we can click on it. So for example, I'm going to click on Nintendo Switch right now. There we go. Yep, it just seems like if I zoom in too much, the image won't appear. Anyways, for anything that you like, if you scroll down, you're going to be able to see if you're looking for any store in particular, right down here, it can also tell you which stores have it and which don't. Also keep in mind, on the right hand corner, you will see free shipping and standard shipping. So this could also be free. It depends. So this shipping to your house could be free depending on the product and price. So before we do anything, what I want you guys to do is go on the top right hand corner of your screen. You're going to see this cart. Plus you're gonna see my account right beside it on the left side. That's where you need to create your account. Why is it just making an account? It's just in case you guys have to return an item or you're buying a lot of stuff. It's easier to keep track of everything if you have an account set up and that just requires your email address. Anyways, once you guys have done that, you will add whichever you like to add to your cart. So I'm just gonna add this to my cart. Once I click to add to my cart on the top right hand corner of my screen, you will see this cart. So let's just click on the cart and we can see what's inside our cart. So right now we just have this Nintendo Switch inside our cart. We can add some protection, which I don't suggest doing so. And if you keep scrolling down, you're gonna see where you guys can put any promotional codes. So at this time, if you guys have any promotional codes, Put it in right now. If you don't, on the left hand side, you're also going to see checkout. So that's bottom left hand side, checkout. We're going to click on checkout. And then it's going to take us to this page where on the left side we can see returning customer or guest checkout. As I mentioned, do not do the guest checkout. It's easier for you to create an account and that way you can keep track of all your packages, even if you're just buying one thing. So just go on the left side, just type in your email and your password. Once you put in your password, just go on the bottom left hand side, you're gonna see logging and checkout. At this point, I can see if this can deliver it to my house or I can just ship it to the store so I can pick it up from there, which is usually faster. If you notice that there's any mistakes at this point in time, do not go any further. For example, I see on the right hand side, it tells me that I have two items when I should just have one. So I'm going to just adjust that before coming back here. To adjust anything on the top left hand side, you're going to see back to cart. Once you're back into your cart, I can see that Nintendo Switch added twice, which makes sense because I already added it. So I'm going to take out one and there we go, it adjusted to just one. Again, I'm just going to click on checkout on the bottom and I'm back here. So right now I can see my quantity makes sense, the price makes sense, the shipping's free for both my home and to the store, so might as well ship it to my house. Why go to the store? So I'm just gonna select the first option. If for any reason, once you select standard shipping to home, you cannot click on continue to shipping, just select any store. Okay, so on the right hand side, you guys saw those buttons where it said select store. So just select any one of them and then change it back into standard ship to my home. From there, you're gonna be able to continue on to shipping. It's just a glitch on the website. So we're gonna go ahead and continue on. And on the left hand side, you will see your name, last name. So just input that phone number and then go ahead and start typing in your address. It's most likely gonna find your address right away. And most likely for most of you, you will have this check mark on, use this as my billing address. So that means that's the address for your credit card that you're going to use in order to make this purchase. Once you have filled all that up, you will see this in red and we're going to be able to click on review your order. Once we click on review order, we're going to go into our card and order summary. So at this point, if you scroll down, you're going to see on the right hand side, continue to payment. Just make sure your name, your address is all okay. And we're going to continue on to payment. So at this point, you should see this page where we can use a credit card, debit card, PayPal, financing, or interact in order to make this purchase. So go ahead and select whichever one makes sense to you. For the purpose of this video, we're just going to use credit card because that's the most standard one. Once you click on credit card, it's going to ask you for your credit card, 16 digits, expiration date, and your security code, which is on the back of your credit card. Once you guys have done so, this will also come in red, place order, and we're going to click on place order on the right hand side of your screen. As mentioned, this will turn red, we're going to place order, 
and here we go we are all done at this point in time you should be getting an email and make sure to print this confirmation out take a screenshot if you don't want to print it and make sure to keep that order number which is on the top left hand side of your screen you're gonna see your order number at this point all we can do is just wait we are all done we're gonna get the switch in just a few days and this video applies to anything you would like to purchase on the source anyways that would be it for this video if you guys have any comments questions you guys can write down here in the comments area don't forget to subscribe and rate thank you